Danielle Lucia, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to interpret a statistical shape model in the Materialize Mimics Innovation Suite. We've often heard that people come in all shapes and sizes, and this is especially true for patients, and it's important for medical device manufacturers to understand the different shapes and sizes when they're creating a new implant to ensure that it fits properly in the patients that they're going to be serving. If you take a look at this image, you see that the patient, the female on the left, and the male on the right are very different. And most likely, they're not just a scaled version of each other. The man is not just exponentially larger than the woman, and there's a lot that probably is changing within the different bones in their body or the different anatomical structures in their body. And so how can you, as a medical device manufacturer, start to understand what these models look like and how to design a device that best fits this population. What I'd like to show you is the Threematic software. And in this example, I'll, I'll explain to you how a femur can be used in a statistical shape modeling sense. Right now, what we're looking at on the screen is the average of 73 different CT scans that have been combined using statistical shape modeling techniques. And the average model here has been created for us. What you see if you take a look at the properties of this femur is that, as I mentioned before, there are 73 different cases that have gone into building this one single shape model. And it also explains the age range as well as the region of the world where the scans were collected from. If you look towards the bottom and the different modes, what you'll start to see in each mode is a shape changer. And what I mean by that is, for example, in mode one, if we move our slider across left to right, think of this as moving along that bell curve that you saw in the image before. As you move to the left, you're looking at a smaller population, a standard deviation of minus three or minus four. If we move to the right, we're looking on the larger side of that, that image you saw before plus three, plus four standard deviations. And what you see in mode one is that for the most part, it seems to me that just the general size is scaling. But it's important to realize that there's multiple modes in this project. And so if you look at something like mode three, for example, what you might start to notice is that not just the shape or the general size is changing, but the curvature of the bone is changing. And so through a series of statistical shape modeling algorithms, we're able to understand and tease out what actually is changing. Now it's very important to note that this is a almost like a rendering. You can play around with the models and you can change the modes to create any instance of a patient that you'd be interested in testing. Perhaps it's an average patient to know how well your device fits, or perhaps it's a very extreme patient, very small, very large, high curvature, low curvature. You can use these techniques of manipulating the modes to create very extreme patients, and finally, you can convert those instances to parts. This is an important step to create an STL file. So like I mentioned, the femur as it stands, as you're playing and manipulating the modes, really is just the shape model. It's a, it's a rendering where you can create different sizes, different instances, different shapes, but in the end, what's most important is that you've created an STL file. Once you have an STL file in Threematic, you can take measurements, you can perform resections, you could implant your device, and really go all the way as needed for the R&D of a new device. Now as a final step, what I'd like to show are just a few different instances that I've created of mode one across the board. In the center here, we have the average, we have a plus one, plus two standard deviation, and on the left, we have a minus one and a minus two standard deviation. And it's really interesting because right away, I can see how much the bone is changing, and I can use this to leverage my R&D. Please let us know if you have any questions about statistical shape modeling or using these models in the Threematic software. I hope you found this video helpful.